Here is the Arclamis Region Multimedia Weather Briefing on November 8, 2009. This is Ariel Cohen at the National Weather Service in Jackson. Here's an overview of what we'll be discussing during this briefing. Hurricane Ida has entered the southern Gulf of Mexico, and the primary impacts for the Arclamis Region associated with Ida will occur Monday into early Tuesday with steady rainfall and breezy winds expected. A wind advisory and a lake wind advisory are in effect for portions of southern and eastern Mississippi for Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning. Rainfall accumulations of 1 to 3 inches will be possible southeast of the Natchez Trace Parkway corridor, with higher totals possible with heavy rainfall Monday night. Ponding of water will be possible on roadways, as well as low-lying and poor drainage areas. Some river flooding concerns continue along and west of the Mississippi River, and dry conditions are expected for mid to late week. Here's a satellite image centered over Hurricane Ida at 1.15 p.m. Central Standard Time showing that Ida has moved through the Yucatan Channel and emerged into the southern Gulf of Mexico. Satellite imagery indicates a large mass of deep convection near the center of Ida and in the southern part of the storm, affecting portions of the Yucatan Peninsula. The deteriorating eyewall structure in the vicinity of Ida indicate that it could be peaking in intensity. The latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center indicates that at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, Ida was 95 miles west-northwest of the western tip of Cuba and about 510 miles south-southeast of the mouth of the Mississippi River, or near 22.2 degrees north, 86.3 degrees west. Movement of Ida was toward the north-northwest, or 330 degrees at 10 miles an hour. Maximum sustained winds are near 100 miles an hour with higher gusts, making Ida a Category 2 hurricane on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane scale. The minimum essential pressure is 976 millibars, or 28.82 inches, based on a report from an Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 85 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 140 miles from the center. Little change in strength is expected tonight, and Ida is expected to gradually weaken on Monday. Here's the forecast track of Hurricane Ida from the National Hurricane Center, calling for the center of Ida to move north or northwestward through the central Gulf of Mexico through Monday night before turning east. Ida is forecast to make landfall somewhere over the northern Gulf Coast on Tuesday. Exactly where remains a big question. A hurricane watch is in effect for the Gulf Coast from Grand Isle, Louisiana to Mexico Beach, Florida. This watch does not include the city of New Orleans. Given the track being further to the north than previously anticipated, there is increasing confidence of heavy rain and breezy wind impacts associated with Ida across portions of the Arclamus. Ida is forecast to lose its tropical characteristics as it heads north and merges with a surface low pressure currently over the western Gulf of Mexico and associated front, as shown in this left panel image here, showing surface map features on Monday morning. Nevertheless, the interaction will support maintaining a tight pressure gradient in the northern part of Ida that will approach the Arclamis on Monday and continue into Tuesday morning, as shown here in the right panel. The tight pressure gradient will result in east winds between 20 and 30 miles an hour with gusts to 35 miles an hour across portions of southeast Mississippi to the southeast of a line from Quitman to Columbia, where a wind advisory is in effect from 3 p.m. Monday to 6 a.m. Tuesday. Elsewhere along and southeast of a line from Meridian to McGee to Monticello, east winds between 15 and 20 miles an hour with gusts to 25 miles an hour are expected. Thus, a lake wind advisory is in effect for those areas from 3 p.m. Monday to 6 a.m. on Tuesday. Total rainfall accumulations associated with Ida are expected to range from 1 to 3 inches across the Arklamas, highest to the southeast of the Natchez Trace Parkway. Off and on, rainfall will start Monday, and heavy rain will be possible southeast of the Natchez Trace Parkway for Monday night. Higher amounts above 3 inches will be possible, particularly southeast of the Natchez Trace Parkway. The long duration of the rain could result in ponding of water on roads as well as in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Also, uh, so for river flooding concerns, they continue along and west of the Mississippi River with flood warnings and advisories in effect for points along the Mississippi River and for portions of northeast Louisiana and southeast Arkansas, as shown here. Moderate flooding also continues for the Buff River near Fort Necessity, particularly seven miles west of Fort Necessity, as shown in this image over here. And then surface high pressure will settle over the region for mid to late week with dry conditions beginning Tuesday night and continuing through Friday across the Arklamas. 
and then a review of what we're looking at during the next few days. Hurricane Ida is currently in the southern Gulf of Mexico. The primary impacts for the Oklahoma associated with Ida will occur Monday into early Tuesday with a steady rainfall and breezy winds. A wind advisory and lake wind advisory are in effect for portions of southern and eastern Mississippi from Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning. Rainfall accumulations of 1 to 3 inches will be possible southeast of the Natchez Trace Parkway corridor where heavy rainfall will be a concern Monday night and the higher amounts above 3 inches will also be possible. Ponding of water will be a concern on area roadways as well as low-lying and poor drainage areas. Some river flooding concerns continue along and west of the Mississippi River. Dry conditions are expected by mid to late week. Thank you for listening to this multimedia weather briefing. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us here at the National Weather Service in Jackson, Mississippi.